Why don't we defibrillate a PEA arrest? Let me show you. So shocking a PEA is kind of like giving Narcan to an unconscious hypoglycemic patient. They might be unconscious and hypoventilating, but the cause is completely different. In the case of PEA arrest, the heart doesn't have the ability to use the electrical activity simply because unlike VFib and VTAC, PEA is not an electrical conduction problem. It's a mechanical problem due to the stroke volume or the vascular resistance where the electrical activity is not able to produce a palpable pulse because of the mechanical problem. Best thing to do is treat the primary cause. And the cause of PEAs is typically thought of with the H's and T's. Hypovolemia, hypoxia, hyper and hypokalemia are metabolic disorders. Hypothermia, toxicity, tension pneumothorax, tamponade, or a throm thromboembolism like an MI or PE. Even though the survival rate of a PEA is below 3%, treating the cause is by far the best chance for this patient's survival. Tomorrow, we'll talk about the different types of PEAs and what is likely causing them. Do you love our short videos and you're worried that you're going to miss some of them? Well, don't worry about that because we're going to send them straight to your email. All you need to do is hit the link in the bio and we're going to send all of our daily videos straight to your email so you can get your daily dose of medicine. Hit the link in our bio and sign up right now.